I'm going to begin by showing you how to make a X shake and then I'll show you how to make a Y shake. So let's begin. First, prepare your clip. Mine is 30 frames long on a 60 FPS sequence. And then navigate to your project tab and create an adjustment layer. So right click anywhere where it's empty, head over to new item, adjustment layer and click OK. Then you want to place the adjustment layer on top of your clip. So just drag it on top and extend it to the end. Head over to effects and search for Gaussian Blur. The one underneath Blur and Sharpen and drag this onto your adjustment layer directly. Head into effect controls and find the blur effect we just added and set a keyframe for the blurriness to 200 at the beginning. And if you head all the way to the end, but one frame back, so not to the end, just one frame back, set this value to zero like so. Then right click on your second keyframe and select ease in. Change the blur dimensions from horizontal and vertical to horizontal since it's an X shake. Now let's take a look at what it looks like. Not bad. Now we need to make the shake so head back into effects and search for the transform effect which is underneath distort so drag that onto your adjustment layer as well. Head back into effect controls and scroll down. Set a keyframe for the scale at the beginning and change the amount to 110. And just like before, all the way to the end, one frame back, reset this to 100. Then open up your scale graph by clicking on this tiny arrow next to the stopwatch. And what we're going to do is click the second keyframe and grab this handle and pull it to the left, like so. Now you're going to see this little bar next to it, which is if I just move my playhead right here, this bar here, you want that to be aligned with the handle so not too high or too low just on level right here which will result in a very smooth curve but if you want to you can pull this to the left to tighten it so I'm going to keep it around here I think and we are going to do something similar with the first keyframe so just click it and if you don't see a handle then no problem just push it forwards and it should be visible what you want to do is just tighten it so push it to the left like so and down if you want to I'm just going to keep it down here that looks fine then I'm going to push it back like so you can make any adjustments later so don't worry too much now let's move on to the shake so move your playhead to the very start and set a keyframe for the position like that if it helps you can hide the Gaussian blur effect so I'm going to click this tiny FX icon box here that's going to hide it and what we're going to do is move the first value. We're going to adjust this value here to push our clip to the left until it hits the edge. So roughly around here, the black edge here should not be visible. The border, we want to hide that. So I think something like 1050 for me looks best. Then you want to head about one, two, three, four, five or six. Let's go five for now five frames ahead and then do this for the other side so I'm just going to push this to the right until it hits the edge just there so 915 is fine for me one two three four five and I'm going to do the same again maybe like just here I can see a very like small amount of the black bar just there so I am going to actually decrease this until it's hidden so 982 is fine then I'm going to head 5 10 frames ahead you can do this by holding shift on your keyboard and using the arrow keys to go back or forth so 510 and reset this by clicking on this tiny arrow let's now turn on the Gaussian blur effect back on and take a look not bad so far we can improve this by adding some exposure so head back into effects and search for lumetri color which is underneath color correction just drag this onto the adjustment layer and head back to effect control scroll all the way down open up basic correction and set a keyframe for the exposure let's go two. i think that will look good so set it to two and then head a few frames ahead maybe 5 10 15 20 or we could head to the very end just like before and reset this then right click on your on the keyframe that you just made and select ease in let's see how that looks not bad at all. I think it looks pretty awesome. Now let's convert this X shake into a Y shake, which is up and down. So first of all, what you're going to do is change the blur dimensions for Gaussian blur 
to vertical, but also hide this effect. So click on the FX box. We are going to get rid of the position keyframes, but we are going to use the same method as before. So if I just click on this stopwatch icon, it's going to give me this warning message. Click OK. And as I said, we're going to repeat the same steps but with the top and the bottom instead of the left and right. So I'm going to set a keyframe after resetting. And where should we start from? The top or the bottom? Let's go top for now. So I'm going to hit the edge like right there. So 590 is fine. One, two, three, four, five frames ahead. In fact, let's try six just to see how it looks like. So I'm going to do the other side now, which is the bottom. Hit the edge right there. So 520, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, I am going to reset it just so it's a bit easier. And there's not much I can do here, but I'm going to try 550 anyway. Then I'm going to head, I think it was 10 frames ahead, so 5, 10, and reset this. So let's see what this looks like after I unhide the blur. So take a look. Not bad, I think. However, there is a problem, and the problem is I feel no impact at all. Where is the shake? So what we're going to actually do is hide the blur once again, and instead of leaving a six frame gap, let's cut it down to five. So one, two, three, four, five, push it forwards. One, two, three, four, five, push it forwards, and five, ten, push it forwards once again. But this also means I will need to make some minor adjustments. So for each keyframe, we're starting from the second at least. So I'm going to push this up even more like there so five six seven and then for the next one as well for the other side which is the bottom just here 530 and then that one's fine so just these two turn the blur effect back on and this is what it looks like i've got to be honest it looked much better in my head however i do have some presets so if i just get rid of every single effect and search for y shake this one underneath my editing pack smooth y shake i'm just going to drag it onto my adjustment layer let's see how that looks pretty similar in fact i think this one has slightly more impact you can really feel the bounce on this one let's take a look at the x shake as well let's see if that's any better so smooth x shake drag that onto my adjustment layer not bad at all although i think the exposure could be a bit brighter so what i'm going to do is open up lumetri color and increase the exposure there you go that looks much better and it was super easy to use all i had to do was just simply drag and drop my brand new viral editing pack includes x and y shake presets and plenty more just to let you know this pack is on sale until the end of november enter the code viral at the checkout for 20 percent off it's easy as drag and drop